Hello, good beans, and welcome back to Midnight Requiem. Today, we'll be talking about Gianni Versace, a designer to celebrities and royalty such as Princess Diana. Gianni Versace brought validity and art to an industry considered out of touch with street culture. Gianni Versace was one of the top fashion designers of the 1980s and 90s. He launched his first clothing line in Milan, Italy in 1978. In 1989, Versace debuted his first culture collection. He continued to add to his fashion empire, expanding into home furnishing and perfumes. Throughout his career, Versace designed for such high-profile figures as Madonna, Princess Diana, Elton John, and Tina Turner. Versace was born on December 2, 1946 in Reggio di Calabria, Italy, he was raised in the world of design, learning his trade at the hands of a mother who ran her own dressmaking business. Versace went to work for his mother after completing high school. In 1972, Versace moved to Milan, where he began freelance designing for Italian labels Jenny Callaghan and Complice. Versace launched his own ready-to-wear collection for women in 1978. The business was always a family affair, with his brother Santo and his sister Donatella working for him. The Versace style. Versace became known for his glamorous styles, producing a range of siren dresses that became his trademark. He often used innovative materials such as aluminum mesh or cutting edge techniques like neo culture laser technology to infuse leather and rubber. The head of Medusa was also a recurring image on many of his clothing, items, and accessories. He launched his first culture collection in 1989 and added two clothing lines, Versus and Instata, to his business in the 90s. Elizabeth Hurley Versace's dress. One of his most famous creations was a black dress held together at the sides by gold safety pins worn by Elizabeth Hurley at a movie premiere in 1994. The dress helped make the actress a star. Versace developed strong relationship with a num number of stars and supermodels, including Elton John, Madonna, and Naomi Campbell. As Anna Wintour told the New York Times, Versace was the first to realize the value of celebrity in the front row and the value of the supermodel and put fashion on the international media platform. He was also one of the foremost designers who showed the power of bringing the fashion and music world together. Versace's illustrious career was decorated with numerous awards, including four Le Ocio de Oros and an American Fashion Oscar in 1993. Some of his most imaginative creations could be found in theaters. The designer was often applauded for his costume designs for such ballets as Richard Strauss, Joseph Gennady in 1982, Gustav Mahler's Live and Lead in 1983, and Bejar Chaka Zulu in 1989. In 1987, Versace was awarded the Mastera de Argentel Prize for his contribution to theater. He also created stage costumes for such pop performers as John, Madonna, and Turner. Expanding the Versace empire, Versace's design has been showcased in several museums, including Chicago's National Few Museum, London's Royal College of Art, Japan's Kobe City Museum, and Germany's Kunstgruberism Museum. In, in addition to clothing, the designer expanded his brand in other directions. He launched his classic signature fragrance line in 1991 and his line of furniture and home goods in 1993. Versace also published numerous books, including Rock and Royalty, The Art of Being You and Men Without Ties. Versace was only 50 years old when he was murdered outside his South Beach home in Miami, Florida on July 15, 1997. The beloved fashion designer was gunned down by 27-year-old spear killer Andrew Cunningham, who was found dead in a Miami Beach boathouse eight days later. 
Versace was survived by his longtime partner, Antonio de Amico. The couple even worked together with de Amico designing for the Versace sport line. Several services were held for Versace, including one at New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art, a who's who of the fashion world from Anna Wintour and Ralph Lauren to Calvin Klein and Marc Jacobs turned out to be farewell to Versace. Whitney Houston, John Bon Jovi, and John were among the performers at the memorial. A designer to celebrities and royalty such as Princess Diana, Versace is remembered for bringing utility and art to an industry considered out of touch with street culture. In less than 10 years, he built an empire worth $807 million. His sister took over the creative reins of the company after his death, serving as head of design while his brother Santo became CEO. The assassination of Gianni Versace, a 2018 series that focused on the murder of Versace, starred Edgar Ramirez as Versace, Penelope Cruz as sister Donatella, and Darren Criss as Cunningham. Executive produced by Ryan Murphy, the series is based partly on the 1999 bestseller by Marin Orff, Vulgar Favors, Andrew Cunningham, Gianni Versace, and the largest failed manhunt in U.S. history. In anticipation of the new season's January 17, 2018 premiere date, Versace family released an official statement. The Versace family has neither authorized nor had any involvement whatsoever in the forthcoming TV series about the death of Mr. Gianni Versace. The family said in a statement via the Fashion House, since Versace did not authorize the book on which it is partly based, nor has it taken part in the writing of screenplay, this TV series should only be considered as a work of fiction. FX responding with its own statement, like the original American crime story series, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, which was based on Jeffrey Tubin's nonfiction bestseller, The Run of His Life, FX follow-up The Assassination of Gianni Versace is based on Marines Orff's heavily researched and authenticated non-fiction bestseller Vulgar Favors, which examined the true life crime spear of Andrew Cunningham. We stand by the meticulous reporting of Miss Orff. As always, my good being, be loving, caring to each other. Please make sure to like the video, subscribe, and leave comments. Have a wonderful day.